is the beach where I'm thinking of planting the circle. Looking quite busy at the minute. I'm just I need to scope out how far the tide goes out basically. If there's too many people down there, I can't do it because it's quite a big circle that I've kind of designed. And I can't take up too much of the beach if there's loads of people there, obviously. But let's see. I'm here three hours before low tide. I'm a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> I've, I've kind of gained an hour somehow. Maybe I got abducted for an hour, who knows. But anyway, Whitby Town is down this way, so we've got time to have a little mooch around Whitby now first. And another thing I forgot to mention is that you have um, in the background there is the Whitby Abbey. It's a huge old gothic looking ruin of an abbey and uh, it was partly used as inspiration for the film Dracula. So what we'll do is there's a little brewery up the top as well. So we'll have a mooch through the town and then we'll head up there while the tide's going out to keep ourselves busy, eh? So there's the abbey right there. See the little boat going in there? When the boat comes in Some dog activity. Yes. Yeah, boy. He's full of beans. <laughs> As you can see, there's a little bridge in the centre taking you over to the other side. That's where we're going to now, go now. We're going to head down there and then we're going to head up, up to the abbey over here. I think maybe that dog that we've just seen has just been there. Okay, so we're just going to head on to the um, the little pier, the little sea break above the beach where we're potentially going to be laying down the circle. So there's a lot of people here actually. Let's see if it dies down by the time I'm going to come back in a couple of hours. Some nice little beach huts in the distance as well, a little bit like Saltburn. Just here at the back. But yeah, what a perfect spot to put a circle down if everyone just disappears for a couple of hours. Please, please just go away for two hours and come back and have a nice little surprise. <laughs> so that's the lighthouse at the end. I'm not going to walk up to that. Well, yeah, come on, let's go for a little wander down here. Uh, so what I've noticed is that you can walk all the way down here and you can walk all, all the way along this wall here, I think. There's a path there and it goes all the way up to the up to the abbey where we need to go and then we can drop down into the town after. So it'll be like a little loop, which is what I like. So that is Whitby Lighthouse, folks. Whitby Lighthouse. Whoop, whoop. Looks pretty dramatic though, doesn't it, with the clouds? It looks like, I don't know, the weather's coming in a bit. But we like that on the coast, don't we? Anyway, let's go and look at this wall from this side. There's another little lighthouse there. That must be the old one, you see? Small. Big. Small. People having photos. Oh, there's a bit of a film crew going on over there, actually. Something's going down. I'll tell you what, there's some serious gappage. Some severe gappage down this. And do you know what, folks? You can't walk all the way around. There's a big gap in the middle. Obviously, for the boat to go in and out. Now, why did I think you could go all the way around? So that means we have to walk all the way back this way. Instead of joining there, we could go for a little swim. Okay, so I just had something pretty random just happen to me as I'm walking along the pier. Uh, just walking along and this guy runs up to me and says, Are you Welsh and Jehovo? And I was like, yeah. Oh my god, man, I follow you. He was from the US. Oh man, a guy called David. Um, he's over here on a little trip. And he was down on the beach with his friends who are from the UK. And uh, they came over to me after and said that he... Uh, he ran over to them and said, I think that's Welsh and Jehovah walking the along the pier. And he uh, <laughs> he came running along the pier to see me. It was very nice to meet you, David. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip, buddy. Keep on keeping on. So 
so I think this is downtown Whitby Centro it's all going on Arcadia's galore little eateries galore fun city Ooh, I bet there's loads of fun being had in there right now glorious and we have some slightly swankier looking places the quayside and a nice little pub thing here look called the pier that looks pretty cool a lot of history right there I bet 1748 you can get right onto the front here which is really nice there some nice little pubs along the front here loads of food loads of arcades again it's pretty nice though it's a bit better than walking down that high street I must say no offence Whitby it's very pleasant and all but this is more like me so there's the lifeboat station just here just above the abbey uh, just below the abbey I mean as we saw from above before here's that little bridge that we need to cross to get up to the abbey we've got a quarter of a mile to go folks i thought that sign said one mile i was like what i guess coming over the bridge is like the old side of town maybe because it seems a lot older if that makes sense all the good ones so I did get told there's a lot of steps up to this abbey so it looks like we're just getting at the beginning of it here graveyard here too as you can see I guess that's the church yeah we've got the abbey right in front of us here right in front of us here folks here we go folks here we go here is thou abbey I mean I think you've got to pay to go in to see it Again, I thought it was just going to be a ruin with no payment, but I shouldn't have expected that, eh? Anyways, we're going to walk around the perimeter of it to see if we can get a better view of it anyway. That's cool, eh? Let me just zoom in on this for you. There you go, a little bit closer for you guys. There she is, Whitby Abbey. As you can see, there's a huge wall surrounding the perimeter. I haven't been around the back end of it yet but we'll go and see if we can find another viewpoint pretty cool eh especially with the sun just hanging behind it there okay folks so we're by the the wall let's see if I can chuck the camera over I've just put the tripod on as high as I can Ah, the wall's a little bit low around here. Here we go. I'm going to get a little view from here, I think. There you go, folks. There's the Abbey. That inspired the writer of Dracula. Cool, eh? Well, there we go. We got a nice little glimpse over the wall there. But what, more importantly, we passed along the way is the brewery. I think we should go and get a little tipple, don't you? Let's go, folks, let's go. Here we go, here's the little bar. <laughs> Can't beat a dog. got was a pint of their homebrew lager 
is very nice. They do ales, but the guy said behind the bar that they've just recently started doing La Lager. So it's uh, fresh on the menu almost, and it's very nice, very tasty. Definitely goes well with the old ruin. Well, that was very pleasant, folks. That was very pleasant. But I'm not going to lie, the wind, I don't know if it's changed direction, but it's freezing now. It's gone really cold. <laughs> I've been noticing some little little alleyways. There we go, there's one. Let's go and have a mooch down here because I think this goes onto the riverfront. You can come right down onto the river. Wow. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Getting away from the hustle and bustle of the town. Let's have a bit of this. There's no wonder the seagulls hang out down here. Peaceful as. The town is way quieter. I think it's because the wind's come in, like I just said. The weather's really come in. Choppy. It's choppy as we say in the UK. So um, let's head to the beach, as planned. The buck in. Check that out, an open window with that little view there. Well, well, it looks like most people have left the beach, folks. Big open space, but the wind is freezing. It'd be rude not to, though, wouldn't it? It's like a beach to ourselves, pretty much. There she is, folks. There she is. Oh, the sun's going down, as you can see, right? So it doesn't look much from the from the bottom here. There's a couple of people watching from the top. They just gave me the the big high five. So uh, I'm hoping to get up to there before the uh, sun goes down. There's a big cliff there. You see. So um, without further ado, I'm going to leg it up there now. I'm not sure I'll be able to get the drone out because of the wind up there. But at least I'll be able to get a shot from above. Sorry for my out of breathness, but I've been running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> oh, so, I, got, I just got to the top. I'm so out of breath. There we go, folks. I'm just going to get to a better position, just up there where them people are. They're the ones that were telling me that it was uh, giving me the high five. So you guys I could see from the bottom. Yeah. There she is folks. I can't get the drone out. It's too windy, it's going out into the sea. So my little thing, if that gets caught out in the wind, that's going out to sea. And I don't want that. So it's kind of a basic spiral. A spiral within a spiral. A thick line and a thin line. having a whale of a time in there. Loving it. 
They can feel the energy, folks. They can feel the energy. There you go. Look, people are getting attracted to it. Humans and animals alike enjoying the spiral tribe. Just before the sun went down, a little crowd gathered to take some photos before the ocean swallowed up my work. As I stood there, no one knew it was me who created the circle. I felt like Banksy for a while. I then drove back to Saltburn by the sea while taking in the lovely sky that followed the sunset. In the evening, I headed out to get some food from the sea view, a lovely restaurant near the pier. Highly recommended. Come and join me in the next episode where I visit more places along the coast, including this old abandoned port. Or is it abandoned? Until next time, take care and have fun folks. Peace.